Yes, guys, this goes go. So welcome back to another video. Now, today, oh, it's so boring. We're in the international break, guys. Who else hates it? Leave a like on this video right now if you hate the international break. Can we get 20 likes on this video if you want Premier League football to return as quickly as possible to our screens? However, today, I'm going to be predicting every single Premier League game until the end of the season to determine who's going to win the league, who's going to get in the Champions League, who's going to get relegated, and who's even going to get in the Europa League. This is going to be a banger of a video. So to support it, please subscribe down below, follow all my social medias, and comment where do you think your club will finish at the end of the season. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So guys, to the left of me, you can see a table predictor, which will basically predict every single game, and as I said, determine every club's league position. Now, there's a few unplayed games from here, so we're going to go back to game week 21. Jesus. Right, so Leicester, Norwich. I think Leicester will win this one 3-0. Honestly, I think they will. Game week 22. This is going a while back now, isn't it? Spurs, Arsenal. Wow. Honestly, I could have left this till last. Absolutely massive game this is. Honestly. It's at the Spurs stadium. I think that might give them the advantage. I'm going for a 2-1 Spurs win. KG, but a great win for Spurs. Game with 25, we got Chelsea-Arsenal, another big game for Arsenal. Obviously, with Chelsea have all the sanctions now. It's going to be harder for them, obviously, morally, I think, to pick up wins. But I think this will end 1-0. Yeah, I think it's going to end 1-0. I think Arsenal will get a good point here. Game with 27, we got Chelsea-Leicester. Another big game. Leicester obviously aren't doing as well as they do normally in the Premier League seasons. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Chelsea win. Game week 30, we've got a few games in there, um, including a few big ones as well. Watford Everton, massive game at the bottom of the table. I'm not going to talk for every game, but I will the top games or the most important ones. I think Watford will win it. Honestly, I do. Actually, it's gonna, I think there might be goals actually, two all. You might not think that, but I think there will. Liverpool United, massive game at the top of the table, but also for the race for top four. I think Liverpool will win it 3 1. Newcastle Palace, I think Newcastle will win this 2 1. City Brighton 4 0 Man City, yep, a smashing. Burnley Southampton 1 0 Burnley. Honestly, I think they will be finished that. Or I will, I think it will finish that. Liverpool Watford, massive game at obviously the top of the table and the bottom of the table. I think it's going to be through it. Uh, I think it's going to finish 3 0 to Liverpool. Brighton Norwich 2 0 Brighton. I think they're going to bounce back. Burnley Man City, nothing other than a Man City win 3 0 Man City. Chelsea, Brentford, I think it's going to finish 2-1 to Chelsea. will be closer. Leeds, Southampton, 2-all. Thriller. Wolves, Villa. Oh, that rhymes. 1-all. Man United, Leicester. Oh, not 11-0. Not 11-1 either. Um, Man United, Leicester, as I said. I think it's going to finish 2-1. No, 2-all, I think it's going to finish. West Ham, Everton. It's going to be close. 1-0 West Ham. Spurs, Newcastle. Another very tight game at the top and the bottom. I think Spurs will get it over the line. 2-1 win. Crystal Palace, Arsenal will be tight. Crystal Palace are so good at home, honestly. They are. They, they kept Man City to a 0-0 draw. Honestly, they're very, very good at home, which is why I think it's going to finish 1-0 here. I think it is. Next game week, Newcastle, Wolves. Wolves might nick a 2-1 winner. They are good away from home. Everton United, 3-1 to United. Arsenal Brighton, 2-0 to Arsenal. I think it's going to be so tight for that top four place. So Southampton Chelsea, 2-1 to Chelsea. Going to be tight. Watford Leeds, 2-1. I think Watford will do it here. I think they'll win it. Aston Villa Spurs. Spurs will nick a 1-0 win. Norwich Burnley. It's going to be tight again. 1-0. Norwich, just a game that they should be winning or look to be winning, especially when they're right at the bottom. Leicester Palace, 2-1 Leicester. Brentford West Ham, 2-1 West Ham. Man City Liverpool, massive game at the top. This could actually determine who wins the league. Let's not get away from that fact. Massive game. Obviously, Liverpool. I'd prefer Liverpool in the cup competitions, to be honest, which is thing, which why I think. Liverpool could win the Champions League. Drop a luck on this video if you want to see me predict who's going to win the Champions League. But yeah, I think Man City will win it. I see. I think it's going to be a thriller. Three-two Man City, absolute thriller. We'll be on the edge of our seats watching that. Man City fan, Liverpool fan, football fan, whatever you will be enjoying that game. Aston Villa, Liverpool, obviously Coutinho playing 
Liverpool again. I think Liverpool get the job done here. Three one to Liverpool. Everton Palace. This is the games. If you're an Everton fan or an Everton player that you've got to look to be winning if you want to get out of this relegation scrap. It's going to be so tight. Obviously, Palace, they're actually not a bad side. They are a very good side. They've got some very good results over the course of the season, winning away at Wolves recently, even away at Man City early in the season. I think this is a game. It's massive for Everton, really is. Obviously, less for Palace. I'm just going to add 1-1, a point for Everton in that one. Spurs, Brighton, obviously we beat Brighton in the FA Cup. I think it was 3-1. I think it's going to repeat history. 3-1 again. Southampton, Arsenal. I think it went 2-1 to Arsenal. Watford, Brentford. 1-0. I reckon Brentford are on the bad side, especially with the addition of Ericsson recently. Man United, Norwich. This is the games that Man United will make harder for themselves. I think it's going to finish 2-0 to Man United. Leeds, Chelsea. I think Leeds will score, but I think it will be... I think they might even run away with it. 4-1 Chelsea, massive scoreline for them. Wolves, Man City, a bit of a bogey side um, Wolves are for Man City, especially away from home. Will it repeat history? I think it might. 1-0, massive, massive in the title race, that is. Newcastle, Leicester. Leicester have a decent record at St James' Park. They really do. Um, but I don't know why I put three there for Newcastle, because I think it's going to finish 3-1 to Leicester. West Ham, Burnley, nil-nil. Honestly, I think Burnley will fight for a draw, though. I really do. Game week 34, Arsenal Man United, massive game in the um, in the not title race. That was a few years ago, Callum. A few years ago, that was. Well, quite a few years ago, actually, when those two sides are both competing for titles. Um, nothing against them, though. Obviously, Arsenal win fan very, very well recently. We all know that. Man United, on and off, very on and off. I think Arsenal will get the job done here, though. 2-1 to the Arsenal. It's a 1-0 to the Arsenal, 2-1 to the Arsenal. Yeah, it's a bad pun, guys. Just accept it, all right? Leicester, Villa. Bit of a derby, isn't it? Bit of a derby. 2-1 to Leicester. Man City, Watford. I actually might be going to this game, guys. Do you want me to go to this game? Leave a like on this video again if you want me to go to this game. Should I be sitting in the Watford? If it's 4-1 um, Man City? I actually think Watford might score. Actually, no, they won't. They're awful. 4-0 to Man City. Actually, no. I'll give them a goal. They're not awful, can they? They're not awful. Crystal Palace leads 2-1 to Crystal Palace. Norwich, Newcastle. This is the game where I think Norwich might get a win. 1-0 Norwich. Brentford, Spurs. I think it's going to end. It's going to be a tight one. Actually, 3-1. 3-1 to Spurs. Not 31-0. Three. That would really help our goal difference if that would happen. So, please, 31-0, please. Um, Brighton, Southampton. Ooh, I think Southampton might win it. 2 1 Southampton. Burnley, Wolves. I think it will end 1 0 to Wolves. Chelsea, West Ham. Massive game in the top four race again. Wolf for West Ham anyway, because I think Chelsea are certain in that top four. Do I think West Ham are going to be helped here at Stamford Bridge? No, I don't. I think it's going to end 2 0 to Chelsea. The Merseyside derby, obviously, very, very different to what it usually is. Everton are sometimes pushing for the European paces at the end. Ah. Everton are sometimes pushing for the European pace at, at this point in this season. Um, you know, under Ancelotti, they did slip away at the end. I think they finished 10th in the end with their only season under Ancelotti. But they were pushing for it one side. They did actually win at Anfield last season. Imagine if they stay up by, like, one point. And their win at Anfield secures it for them. The scenes would be mad. And Liverpool would not be so happy because that point in Man City win the league. It's going to be comfortable here for Liverpool, though. 3 0. It is. Game week 35 now, only 35, 36. For, yeah, I'm bad at maths. Four game weeks again this season. Newcastle, Liverpool. Newcastle lost a big game here. If you can remember, I think it was a season where Liverpool missed out by one point to Man City for the league. Divock Origi scored a really late goal. He actually might be going at the end of the season, guys. How gutting for Liverpool. Pretty much legend. I think it's going to be tight. Three, actually, no, not. 3-1. I'm not really liking Newcastle in this, am I? Uh, I think they'll stay up. I think they'll stay up, definitely. Villa Norwich. 2-0 to Villa. Southampton Palace. 1-1. Watford Burnley. 
one nil to Watford. That actually might stay out Watford. I think they have a bigger chance than Everton. I actually do. Spurs Leicester. Leicester will come out and play, play into our hands, and we'll get a two nil win. Maybe even three nil. Oh, I like Leicester. So I'm gonna go for two nil. Also like Wolves, and they're playing Brighton here, and they're gonna win it two one. Leeds Man City. Right. Obviously, I think they actually drew it last season, one all. At Ellen Road, it was. It's not going to be one all again. Instead, it's going to be one three in favour of Man City. Everton Chelsea. It's going to finish one nil. I think they're going to put everything into it, Everton. Just not have enough on the day. West Ham Arsenal. Massive, massive game. This is massive. I think I don't think West Ham are really in the running for top four. Um, I think they're main focus in the Europa League, which I do think Barcelona are going to win it. Unfortunately for them, I think Barcelona are just unreal. I think they really are so good. This is going to finish though, two two. It's going to be a good game. This is Man United Brentford two one. It's Man United, but that sort of games, as I said, you can see teams like Brentford picking up points in just because Man United is just so on and off. Burnley Villa. I seem to like Burnley right in this, haven't I? Um, I'm going for a. I think they're going to be shot to death here though. Three nil. I know, I know. Leicester, Everton. Leicester like to score goals at home, don't they? 2-1, though. Arsenal leads. I'm going to this game. And I think Arsenal will do it. Good of it. Do it. 3-0. Brighton, Man United. I think they'll pick up a point. Oh, a couple of points. Actually, three points. Brighton are going to win it. 2-1. Man City, Newcastle. I've said I can't be kind to Newcastle, but how can I be kind to them? when they have games like this to play. Oh, you got a feel for the two, Nami. They're going to win this. Uh, nah, 2-0. Two 2-0, nil. Two nil, Man City, yeah. Brentford, Southampton. 2-1 to Brentford. Liverpool, Spurs. Oh, it's going to be a massive game in the top four and the title race, obviously. Oh, decision, decisions, decisions. It's going to be tight. I think it will be tight. 2-1 to Liverpool. Palace, Watford. Palace will win this one, 1-0. One Norwich, West Ham. Norwich, hopefully, for them, will have everything to fight for still at this point. They might not, though. 2-0 to West Ham. And Chelsea will win here, 2-0 against Wolves. In to the 37th game week of the season, Villa Palace, 2-1 to Villa. Everton, Brentford, they might get a big result here. I think they might, 1-0. Wow, I know, wow. Southampton, Liverpool. Sometimes struggle at this ground, Southampton. Um, no, Liverpool do. But I think it will be 2-1 to Liverpool. A brilliant result for them if that happens. What for Leicester? 3-2 to Leicester. Going to be a good game. Leicester, Brighton. 2-1 to Leeds. No, Leeds, Brighton. 2-1 to Leeds. Man United, Chelsea. Massive game in the top four race. Well, for Man United, I think they will be out of it by then. But I think they will draw one all. Some of these games just sometimes don't live up to expectations today. Sometimes that is. Newcastle Arsenal, tough game for Arsenal, really is. 1 1. 1 1. Newcastle, they're not bad. They are bad. Bruno Gamares, Joel Linton, Callum Wilson, if he's back, St. Maximan, good team. Right, let's not get away from that. Kieran Trippi has been unreal. And apparently he might be back for a few games in the season. Spurs Burnley will be tight. I think Spurs will win it 2 0. West Ham, Man City. I think this will finish. This will be really tight again. I think it honestly will be. It wouldn't be surprised. Obviously, West Ham did knock out Man City in the Carrier Cup earlier this season. Honestly, guys, I think they might get a result here. one all. Yeah, 1-0. Wolves, Norwich. 2-0 to Wolves. And then finally, we go into the last game week of the season. Arsenal, Everton, I'll be at this game. Will it be Everton's last ever game in the Premier League? Maybe. We'll see in a minute. 2-1 to Arsenal. 2-1 to Brentford. 2 all. Brighton, West Ham. Burnley, Newcastle. 2-1 to the tune. Chelsea, Watford. 2-1. Crystal Palace, Man United. 1-0 Palace. Yep. Leicester, Southampton. I'm going to go with a 3-1 Leicester win. Liverpool Wolves, they actually won against uh, Wolves on the last game of the season when Man City won the league by one point. Because remember, they went 1-0 up with Mane, I think, scoring. 
And Glenn Murray, was it, that scored for Brighton? It all gave Liverpool fans a bit of hope. I think we'll finish 2 0 again here to Liverpool. Only two more games. Man City Villa, a lot of Liverpool fans are saying, can Coutinho to score on the last day, on the last day to win Liverpool the league? I think he might score, you know. I think Man City will win it 3 1. And of course, Spurs actually do end well to seasons. 4 0 to Spurs. I think Norwich will be done by then. I think it will be a good game. Now, we calculate it. I didn't actually do the Spurs Arsenal game. Wow, I forgot to do it. As I said, I think Spurs are going to win it 2 1. I think it's going to be a massive game at Spurs Stadium, but I think they're going to win it. I think they will. So calculate that, bad boy. Calculate it. We go down, and as I said, Liverpool. I thought Man City were going to win the league. Looks like my predictions say otherwise. Liverpool win it on goal difference. Three goals is the difference. Three goals. That will be absolute scenes. Spurs lose 11 games, but they make it into the top four. I honestly do think Spurs can get that top four space. It's going to be uh, from them and Arsenal, and I think it will come down to the North London derby. Spurs, hopefully, and I think they will be more consistent coming into the later weeks of the season. Ben Sankor and Hoiberg is a brilliant partnership. I love that. Ben Sankor and Kulabeski, massive difference to this side. Arsenal just missing out. It will be hard for them if this doesn't happen. Guys, reminder, this is just my opinion. You can leave down in the comments who you think is going to get the Premier League title, top four, Europa League. Who's going down? We haven't even seen who's going down yet. West Ham, guys, I've just seen something. West Ham make it into sick, though Europe for them. If they don't win the uh, Europa League, obviously they'll be in Europe anyway, according to me. And Man United apparently are getting conference league. <laughs> <laughs> On goal difference. We've had another goal difference, right? We can see all these teams lurking around mid-table walls, top of a very good season for them. Mm-hmm. Only one point behind making conference league or even Europe. Here we go. Brentford, we can see Newcastle stay up in 14th, Brentford up in 15th, Leeds up in 16th, Everton scrape it on goal difference, another goal difference, are you joking? It's been decided by goal difference again, and according to my predictions, Burnley will go down on 26 points, of Norwich at the bottom, Watford, it will be heartbreaking for them if they actually go down on 30 points, the same as Everton, who stay up on 30. They will go down by seven goals. Leeds will stay up by three points. It will be massive for them, massive, especially with all the injuries they've had this season. To Calvin Phillips, Patrick Bamford, their two best players, even Jack Cooper. Even Cooper, the centre-back. Obviously, guys, that is my predictions. Massive. Let's stop that sharing. Guys, wow, if that happens, the Premier League's decided on goal difference. The Europa League and Conference League side and goal difference and relegation to side and goal difference. What more could you want? And if you enjoyed that video, smash a massive like down below. As I said, put in the comments who you think is winning the Premier League, getting that top four space, getting in the Europa League, going down, all of that jazz. But yes, guys, as I said, follow all my social media. There'll be linked down below. Please subscribe. Let's get up to 1,000 for the end of the year. We can do it, boys. We can do it. And of course, like also, as I said, can we get up to 20 likes on this video? And I'll be back soon with another video very, very soon. Hopefully, I might have another video for you coming soon before the football starts up again. But I really want to get back to stadiums. But until next time, I'll see you later.